What's going on guys, this is SJS Sports and welcome back to another video of mine. This is going to be the hashtag change career mode for whatever EA Sports and the likes of Rob Hodgson and stuff like that, the FIFA community manager. Um, it's been going up yesterday as I'm doing this, this is Sunday morning. Unfortunately I spent hours um, doing my video and, it, and I've had trouble with, again, my Elgato. Um, so the footage has been um, gone corrupt. I, it, some parts was okay, some parts wasn't. It was it's quite weird really to be fair but... Anyway, I'm going to do it like on the webcam feature now with the face cam because I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this and a lot of YouTubers as well have actually, um, there's been a lot of this hashtag change career mode. Make sure you look it up on Twitter and um, there is a lot of YouTubers that have come onto this and um, I've not watched any of them videos yet because um, I don't want to like take their ideas into mine and stuff. I've got my own ideas and, and so forth. So um, it's been a great campaign. There's a lot of um, Ultimate Team people out there, and it feels that us Cremo people just just like are left in the dark, left in the shadows of um, of our gameplay that we like. Because we only buy FIFA for career mode. Um, some people buy it for both career mode and Ultimate Team um, and stuff like that. So the first thing that I would love would be basically to have um, an online career. That would if if they added that in FIFA 16, the only thing I'd be so over the moon. I feel that it'll be a, a, it'll be loads better for us as YouTubers, you as better as people that buy the franchise, the FIFA 16 and stuff. Um, you have more banter with your mates and stuff, and just take a leaf out of FM's book because that is where FM in the last couple of years has really improved. Um, all they have to do is like open up a server um, and have a choice of manager mode online manager mode and player mode and online player mode so there's four options that we can choose from uh, more versatility in where we're going forward so it'd be great to see um, if online career did come available then i probably presume that you guys know who um, about my channel and Curtis's channel we will definitely do a youth academy regions or a youth squad legends um, online co-op that would be amazing um, that's the, that's the main thing that i would like um in terms of the game in FIFA 15, I think that the gameplay is okay. It's not bad. It's not brilliant. The can be, it can be improved. There can be a few little tweaks here and there. I think more of a career mode opportunity will be more like customization, more little detail, attention to detail in terms of the menus and stuff like that. Um, if you're going back to, I think it's was it FIFA, FIFA 08, FIFA 09. Um, where you could actually get sponsors and then sponsors give you like an objective that the sponsor wanted you to do. So for instance, they would pay you um, half a half a million pounds a week in to finish top three of the table or something like that. I think that would be amazing. Um, even if it didn't do something like that, I think something similar where you can add sponsorship that gives you money and stuff like that to produce players, to, to sign players and, and stuff like that. And I think that would be great. I'm just going to scratch the surface on some of these. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um, another thing as well that I'd like um, is like the, your, your scouts and stuff. I think to either one have the, the scouts as an overall um, or even like if you sign a scout and have it like you get the attributes and you earn points and stuff from from your games you play to add to to give the scouts a better a better basically a, a, a better scout and you can like tweak them attributes and and stuff like that i think that would be um i think that would make it a little bit more interesting um another thing as well is um that i like is as well and i've known a lot of people do like this is more customization so the ability to change your team's kit now, for me in the Cambridge series, I've got going. I'm still in the I'm in the Premier League, and I've still got the badges. You know, that go on the sleeve. Um, I've still got them that say the football league, and it doesn't it doesn't look realistic. Um, and you know, little little details like that will make us happy. It'll certainly make me happy, and I'll probably speak for the majority of people. And remember, guys, these are only my these are my opinions of of the um, career mode. Some of you guys will probably disagree with some of the stuff. Some of you will probably go, "Yeah, I like I'd like that in there." Um, but it's great to see that a lot of people have done this. Um, also, as well, there's other bits like y obviously the U side of things. Now, um, I'll go into a bit of detail about this. The U side, what we what we need to be doing with the youth is obviously you have the academy, which is in place, which is yes, it's okay, and we get a potential overall what they're going to be and 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 stuff like that. And it's like, well, hang on a minute, car, you know, 15 year olds you can't promote. But sometimes you get that worldy 15 year old that is like brilliant and I'd like to pr promote him into the first team and give him a game in the first team. And also if I wanted to deal with promote him, put him back into the academy. Have more of ability, a bit like again, football manager where you turn 
players into the academy and you turn them back into the youth, uh, into the first team and so forth. Juggle them about a bit. Get more updates on certain players. Instead of just an overall, just say Joe Bloggs has had his blinding game. He got three goals against, I don't know, Sunderland I'll use. And, you know, and give you reports of players each month, how well they're doing, the standout players from your youth academy. Um, and the youth academy as well needs to be extended because I think at the minute it's it's limited to about 20 players, I think. Um, it's around that sort of margin. But give us more of a, a youth academy. Give us the ability to have 50 players in our youth academy. Give us that ability to, to do that because, you know, it's annoying when you get players that you've got a good good youth academy. And it's, quite, it's quite rare that you actually have a full youth academy with players which are brilliant. Um, you know, you always get the obviously the one or two that aren't brilliant, and you can release them and stuff. But um, you know, there has been a point where I've actually had a good youth academy, and I've got the scouting reports back, and they've been good players, and I've not been able to promote them. I've had to let one of my good youth academy players go. Um, that needs to be expanded definitely, uh, and and stuff like that. It's it's, it's great. Um, they've got. They've got a general idea behind it. It's like they've got the foundations of the youth academy, and obviously they can make that into more, better, more detail. I, I, I feel it's. I think it's going to be. Um, yeah, I think that they need to really advance it and improve the side of the youth academy side um, across uh, and physical growth as well. That needs to improve drastically because you look, take a look at some of the players that are youth players in the game that they are real players. Their physical stats are amazing, and our start and, and our youth academy player stats are like, hmm, they're not brilliant, but they don't grow. You know, you get players that like have like, you know, you get defenders that have like. 30 strength or, or, or whatever it may be and it's like really would you actually have a centre back that has 30 strength in real life I probably don't think he would um, and if he did I, I don't know it's just it's just weird that there's little flaws in the game that can definitely be improved um, but yeah I think they really do need to revamp the youth system um, even the regens as well I think they need to I don't know re revamp that a little bit more as well just give us a better, more, better idea of the sort of players that um, are there in terms of scouting um, <clears throat> excuse me in terms of scouting I feel um, they can improve that as well like you, you can get you staff as an overall overall rating like a player because we're familiar with the overall ratings and stuff have the scouts that have an overall rating um, you know like you've got like a five star five star scout that doesn't really give it any justice five star five star and it's like seven and a half million pounds for a five star five star scout why here? Why on earth are they so expensive? And it comes out of your transfer budget, so you can't improve your squad. You've got to sacrifice either not getting that good scouting to scout youth players, and and it's like, why? You know, and are you going buy that player? And he, I don't understand. I, oh, I, it's making me, it's, it's winding me up now. Is this? It, it wouldn't normally wind me up. And it's like, why do that here? Why would you do something like that? It's like, you know, give us a budget of like. A bit like FM, where the weekly budget is a bit like, right, okay. So you've got a wage budget of £100,000 a week, for example, and your players are earning £80,000 per week, for example. So that gives you £20,000 a week to get in a decent scout, to pay him a decent amount of money to get that decent scout in. They have it on terms of wages rather than an overall sum of money that we blow and it's like you know and we don't have to sacrifice that player so then we can use that seven million pounds or seven and a half million pounds on a player that is going to be pretty pretty decent um another thing as well is um i think a few of the other things is like dlc for the cream or guys I think dlc would be amazing i don't know what would dlc wise i think that they could do um more stadiums you know, we would buy them. I would certainly buy them. The championship, even League One, uh, Serie B, and stuff, and have more have DLC there for more of a, a more of a, a an opportunity for us to improve the game. Because yes, the Premier League and stuff like that, the stadiums look amazing, and they have the technology nowadays to go and do other stadiums, and they have like a DLC pack where you can get the English Football Championship DLC as stadiums and stuff like that, and it's like. You know, we would buy that. Give us some DLC to buy. Launch it every so every other month. Launch one pack every month. We will pay for that, and I certainly would. You know, don't have it extraordinary massive like ten ninety nine for the championship. I like five ninety nine and stuff. And you know, that I think that will be. 
I think that would be good. Um, you know, and I know a lot of Ultimate Team players as well. That if that going back to the online career, if I know a lot of Ultimate Team players would actually play career mode more online if we had that function to do that. I think that would be again. I think that would be amazing. And also as well, I feel some of the other like the. The, the goalkeepers need to improve again. They've worked on it quite well this year and stuff in FIFA 15 and that. And it's like, improve the keepers again even more because the you get games where keepers are proper OP and you get games where the keepers are just like, shit. And it's like, one game he was brilliant, the next game, he can't, excuse me, he can't even catch a flipping cold, let alone a freaking ball. It's like, what? You know, I don't understand it sometimes. Yes, players in real life do have... Um, odd bad games but why not just play have it where it's more of a consistency with how players perform because you do get players that will play really really well and stand out like a sore thumb in a game and yes you get the players that will stand out like a sore thumb that play poorly but it doesn't happen all the time and, in, and I feel in FIFA you've got the stats there a good a good overall player and he can play poor for a certain amount of time it's, it's ridiculous Another thing as well, I'll end it on this note. I can go on for hours and hours and hours, right, guys? Really can. Um, they have the ability to speak to your players. Now, you know, you get players that come up. I'll use Javi Traver part of my uh, Youth Cambridge series in Cambridge United. And he's like, I offer him a contract and give him crucial first team player. And we've not been playing him and stuff. And he comes to you and he's like, you know, this happens in FIFA 15. He's like, oh, I, I don't feel like I'm expecta my expectations of my uh, squad status is being fulfilled. And you can obviously go into him and interact and talk to him and say, well, I'm leaving you on the bench because of X, Y, and Z and stuff. And give you the options to do that. Um, and more interaction with the press as well. You're talking of interactions, press. That I think that would be I think that would be good as well, where players are rumoured and stuff. You can go in and talk to that player. You can talk to the press about that player that is not for sale or you're willing to listen to offers. Again, a little bit like football manager. If EA, if, if EA and Rob Hodgson sat down and played football manager for a season and just see the detail that they, that they can pr provide... Um, and take that from Football Manager into FIFA, um, you get a good balance then. I think at the minute it's, it's a little bit up and down and stuff, and you know, getting a good balance between it all, I feel that would be uh, absolutely amazing. And you know, they're just some of the things that I've just scratched the surface, I want to get as many out there as possible without having this video going on for way too long. The video's been going on for now for nearly um, 11 minutes and stuff, so I'm going to end it on here, guys. Um, Make sure you do like this uh, video, share it about. I know I am late. I I had problems with my footage that I did, um, so I do apologise for that. But Can Sports, who is the guy who was the organiser of this movement sort of thing, he, he says, look, just upload it tomorrow, it's fine. And I'm probably I'm not the only one that's uploading it. The more people that get it uploaded today as well, and people go and like it and that, I think that will also help um, again today, because um, I bet Raw Hudson's had up. God knows how many notifications because I've been seeing my sub box is full of all this um, change career mode and stuff and it's, it's it's so good to see that the community, the career mode community and some of the ultimate team people as well have got behind it which is good to see um, you know the fever community can be the best and always will be the best and you know it's things like this that make it the best. Thank you so much for watching guys, make sure you do smash the like button on this video, greatly appreciated and I'll catch you guys next time <laughs>